So I had an idea to teach my housemate how to trade Forex. This is episode one. Oh, it's good tea. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new YouTube series where I'm gonna teach my housemate, Veronica, how to trade, starting from the absolute basics. I think I'm gonna split this into two parts. So for the first part, it's just gonna be a quick introduction and we're gonna talk a bit about price action. And then for the second part, we're gonna do market structure. Are you ready? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm scared. Do you okay. wanna talk about your experience with uh, Forex or trading in general? Um. I have no experience <laughs> whatsoever. This is great because it's so, I mean, the whole yeah. point of this is to just show how anyone can yeah. learn how to trade. Even yeah. you. My experience is watching you <laughs> on your phone looking at a graph. A graph? <laughs> First of all, yes. it's not a graph, it's a chart. Great. Oh, okay, chart. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to be recording my screen on my laptop and basically be going over like this curriculum that I've made out for V. Um, let's get started. So for part one, we have our objectives to know the difference between the bullish bearish candlesticks, to identify them, and then to learn the difference between impulsive and corrective price action, and then to also identify them. Are you ready? Oh, PA means price action. That's good. To know. Yes, PA means price cool. action. Okay. But before we get started, we need to learn the main pairs that we're going to be going over this entire series. Okay. So this is basically what we're trading. Okay. As you can see. Yeah. So there's three main pairs, Aussie dollar, Euro dollar, and Euro yen. Oh, okay. So we have a pair and you can either buy or sell. Right. Okay. Um, let's say with Euro yen, if we're buying, oh sorry, if, we're, if we have Aussie dollar, if we're buying Aussie dollar, we're mm -hmm. buying the Aussie mm -hmm. and then we're also selling the US dollar. At the same time. At the same time. Okay. But yeah. we don't need to worry about that so yeah. much. We just need to know that these are the pairs we're trading mm -hmm. and that this is what we're buying and what we're selling. So we're okay. not buying Bitcoin. Yeah. That's like a whole different That's asset. a different situation. Okay. Yeah. Cool. How do you know when to buy and sell? So we do that basically by technical analysis. Mm -hmm. So there's two ways to actually trade in the market. You have fundamental and technical and technical is going to basically be looking, <laughs> stop looking at me like that. Sorry. <laughs> trying to understand and trying to, Trying to get the terminology. Yeah, so technical analysis, basically just looking at the market itself. Okay. And technically analyzing it. Right. Fundamental is just something else. Okay. Talking about like news and economics and all that shit. Okay, but so we, I don't need to worry about yeah. that. So examples of technical analysis is literally reading candlesticks, the price action, etc., etc. That's That's what we're going to be learning. Okay, cool. Okay, we're moving on to candlesticks. Ooh. Um. So they're basically used to, oh sorry, I'm just going to read off the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Candlestick charts are useful for technical traders to identify patterns in nature of price in order to make trading decisions. Identify patterns and nature of price. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically, basically we need to know the difference between a bullish candle and a bearish candle because then that's when we'll know whether the market's moving up or down. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. This is a bearish candle. Bearish basically means, like, let's say it's going down. Yeah. And then bullish is going up, right? Okay. So on the bearish candle, we open at a price and close at a lower price. Does is that, that make sense? Is that good? Is that bad? It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. It's just oh, the bearish it's candle. It's just a... It means price is moving down. And this is the color that I've chosen on my chart. Okay. So sometimes they're red for going down and oh. green for going up. Okay, cool. Well, in, in my So it started high and it's going low. Yeah, so it's like right. going down, going down, going right. down. Yeah. And it's vice versa for the bullish candle. It started on a lower low. and then price increased and then it closed on the hour. Okay. Uh, we'll be looking at the hourly chart, by the way. So cool. one candle signifies one hour. Okay. So between 12 to 6 p.m. How many yeah. candles is that? 12 to 6. Yeah. Uh, six. Yeah, six candles. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Then we have the body. Yeah. That's the open close. So from twelve to one. Yeah. And then you have the highs and the lows. These are the wicks. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Top to bottom. So that's yeah. the twelve. Let, and let that's me the one. show you on a on a chart actually. So uh, let's just look at let's look at this hour right now. It's currently twelve thirty five. So 
basically, where did the candle open? Open? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, show on the, uh, on this arrow thing. Okay. It opened here? Yeah. And current yeah. price is down here. Right, yeah. What, why? So it started there yeah. and now it's down. Because it's down here. If it crosses oh, up here, here, what colour is it going to be? Crosses? If it goes over where it, let's say, opened on this level. Right. What colour will it start turning to? It would be going back up again, right? It would be, so like be grey. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So, cool. But we need to know like these these wicks, right? Yeah. So some are long and some are short. So basically, within that hour, it might have pushed up, and then it decided to come back down. So it ended up closing here. Does that make sense? No. So within the same hour, mm -hmm. price actually ended up moving. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Price actually ended up moving between this these two, th this range. Right. So it opened here. So yeah. let's say at, this is 11, right? This is 11. Yeah. Oh, we're looking at the 11 one, right? Yeah, we're looking at the 11 yeah. okay. one now. Hold on, let me get rid of him. The gray. Because he's just annoying. So he opened here. Up. Yeah, because it's going up. It's going up. Yeah. At some point, let's say 11.15, he pushed up all it the way up higher. here. Okay. Then it got to 11.59 and he just dropped when closed down. here. Oh. The same way that it, it came down here. Right. At some point within that hour. But yeah. So it, it started here. Here. Yeah, let's say at 11, exactly at 11, it hits 11. Eight. 11.05, yeah. it moved down here. Yeah. 11.30, moved here. Yeah. 11.50, moved higher. all the way up here. And then, then it, it started to close it here. Okay. So this is just the range that it was at okay. within the hour. Right? Oh, so yeah. that makes sense. Okay. That's, those, that's what the wicks are. Yeah. And that's a bullish one. This is a bullish candle. Yeah. Okay. And what's happening here? What is this? Okay. What candles are these? Uh, those are the bearish yeah. candles. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting the candles now. Okay. And you're kind of knowing like they opened here, closed here, opened yeah. here, closed here, opened here, closed here. And the wicks are the range of which it went up and down. Within the hour. Remember, we're, right. looking, we're looking at this hourly time Is that time important? Frame. Yeah. This is all going to lead up to okay. understanding price itself. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we kind of know market's going down at this point. It went up in this hour, up, up, down, 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 up. Yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Hey. Okay. Progress. Ooh. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Back to my notes. Bullish candles indicate entry points for a long or a buy trade and can help predict when a downtrend is about to turn around to the upside. Okay. Long or buy trades? Okay. What so when you have your pairs, you're either going to buy or sell. Yeah. Also called long or short. Okay. So if you're long on a position, it means you're buying a position. Okay. If you're short on a position, it means you're selling a position. You're selling it. So it's kind of like long term and short term. Not time frame wise. It's oh, literally not just. Oh, okay. I am buying. I am selling. I'm, okay. Um, I am long. I am short on a position. So I don't know why it's called buying that. is long. Yeah. Short. Is short sell. is selling. Yeah. Okay. It's not nothing to do with time frame. Interesting. Um, okay. And yeah, bearish candles indicate entry points for short or sell trades. Yeah. And they can help predict when an uptrend is about to reverse to the downside. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. Because yeah. when you have loads of bullish candles, it means it's moving Which to the upside. Which is going higher. Yeah. yeah. Uh, vice versa, when you have the bearish candles, it means going it's moving down. to the downside. Yeah. And something to bear in mind is that what I'm going to teach yeah. you in this series that's how you spell it. No, I know. It's like uh, bear, bearish. It's uh, just one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the strategy that I'll be trading is trading with the trend mm -hmm. and on the one hour time frame. Okay. Um, so identifying uptrends, downtrends on the hourly time frame. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's look at a chart and you've got to show me the uh, bullish and bearish candles, please. Okay. Let's look at, talk to me, like just talk me through this trade. Use this okay. little, um, this little, little tool, little, yeah, you can like. It can I write on that? Yeah, you, you can. You can. It's like a pencil. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I can see the time frames now. Mm -hmm. They're at the bottom. They're at the bottom. Okay. Right. So, oh, should I just pick this one? Yeah. Okay. So this one was at two p.m. Mm -hmm. on the third of January, so a couple yes. of days ago. Um, 
This one is going up. <laughs> no, wait, no, I'm panicking now. <laughs> wait, hold on. No, this one's going down. Yeah, this is going down. This so one's my, going, your, my black, black your black is was going, yeah, your, your black was going down. I think down is like death, so it's dark. So it's dark. Sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that helps. Okay, so this is a bearish candle. Mm. Um, it has a, are the wicks like, do they have a different name if they're top or bottom or can I just say the wicks? Oh, you say the wicks. Like okay, the high wick so the, the, the high wick looks like it didn't go as far as when it, it started. Up. Yeah. Right? It went up a little bit. It went up a tiny bit like here. Yeah. And then um, it dropped down at some point within the hour. Yeah, all the way to, to here. this level. Um, and on, if you look on the crosshair, so go back to the low of the wick, you yeah. can see it's, this is the price that it was at, so 1.2995. Okay. And, and um, it closing? It closed here. Yeah. Every time it, where it closes at the same level, it's when the next hour starts. So do you see yeah. how they're like, they're in synced all... here? Yeah. In synced here, in synced here. Yeah. Yeah, so it closed here, then cool. this guy decided to shoot up. Then it went up. And then, because we have this bullish candles, sometimes it signifies we're going back up. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yes. And then it kept on going down. Is that Does that mean that was a pattern? Oh, we'll get into that. Okay, well it went more. down for one, two, three, three four, five, five candles, candles. Then it reversed. Then, and then it, it reversed. Back. Yeah. Um, in trading, there are like traders who actually really study candlesticks mm. and like formations. Um, but we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go into like that Like theories and stuff or like... As in like, well, it would be full on like, calculation this is, would be called like an engulfing. A oh. bullish engulfing because it engulfs this. And then people would trade that, literally, and be like, I'm gonna buy now. Oh. Until this next bearish engulfing, and they're like, I'm gonna sell now. Sell it. And then, Interesting. another bearish engulfing, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, but okay. it works for some people, works for other people. I personally yeah. don't trade like that. I don't think it's it works for me. Yeah. Um, so obviously I'm not gonna teach you that. Cool. Oh, look at that, we're in the last section. Of cool. today's episode. Okay, now we're moving on to price action. This is everything that <clears throat> I kind of talk about in my videos. Okay. I'm a price action trader, so we're not looking at other things apart from price itself. Okay. So people have like, um, they're called indicators. They kind of help you out to trade, to kind of tell you when it's a good time to trade. Okay. But right. by the time it's told you, it's time to take the buy or the sell, the long or the short, mm -hmm. it started happening already. Right, so it's a little bit too late. It's a bit too late, yeah. Right, so okay. I look at price action. So this is like before. Yeah, no, it's literally looking at price like right now and like oh, being like able to at read the time it. And being yeah, able to time. analyze it yeah. at that point. You need to know the difference between impulsive and corrective. Okay. Okay, so impulsive is strong price action that's quick, moving in one direction. So candlesticks with long, large bodies, smaller wicks. Okay. Yeah, so that makes sense. If we look at here, oh, can I just show me one? one candle that looks impulsive to you. They have small wick. Does it matter how big the actual candlestick is? Um, what do you mean, the body or the wick? The body. And just bigger than, like if you just looked at it. Oh, this one here. That's quite a small wick compared to everyone else's here. I think what's more important is the larger body. Oh, the large, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, this one. This one doesn't have any wicks. Oh, oh no, but it's going down. So it doesn't matter if it's going bad or up or oh, down. Oh, okay, well this one's got a large body, but a very short wick. I mean, I'd say that is impulsive, but I would also say that this is fucking impulsive. That bit. <laughs> oh, but this wick is quite long. Is that, I like, does said, that matter What's more important one? is that it is like it moved so much oh, within the okay. hour. Right. Whereas this guy was like meep. But this oh, guy I was see. like dropping like his heart. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He okay. was like, wee cool. going all the way up. So impulsive is a larger body. Yeah, like larger and body. And a shorter whip, but the larger body is the yeah, main. Definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that Sorry, make I was sense? going for a different thing. Yes. Uh, let's go into yes. like another pair and show me like another impulsive candle. Okay. Oh, this is the, this it? is your um. You can oh, use the can arrow. I use the arrow? Yeah, use the arrow. Okay. This one looks like the longest. 
Mm -hmm. This one here. Oh, oh. clicking in. Yeah, that's an impulsive that one. Wick. Find me a bearish impulsive uh, candlestick, sorry. This one. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh this one. Yeah, that that entire. Oh, use the paint paintbrush. Yeah, these guys, these guys are these having one. a putty putty. Oh, they are so, <laughs> oh, so sorry. But yeah, we, you can see that these guys are impulsive. Yeah, they are a bit crazy. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. Sometimes when it's like that, we don't want to trade that actually. Okay, but I mean, at least you know the difference between what like what an impulsive candle is. Yeah, like why wouldn't you say these are impulsive? Like, what's wrong with these guys? They're super tiny and short and they've got really large wicks. Yeah, they're kind of a bit all over the place. Yeah, they're yeah. a bit like, it feels a bit unstable. Yes, it says unstable. <laughs> Corrective. Uh, okay. Price action. Um, weak price action, moving indecisively, slow, sideways. So those It's be correct. moving up, but it's like taking its sweet, sweet time. It's not yeah. like, wee! Or moving yeah. downwards, but it's not dropping it like it's hot. Ah, so see, yeah, see. candlesticks with smaller bodies could be a mixture of bullish and bearish. Can be wicky. Cool. Um, so it's all about the body of the candle. Yeah. Stick. Okay. Yeah. Because it means there's loads of momentum. So mm. price really pushed. Right. There was so many sellers. Yeah. Banks sold a lot of stuff or mm. whatever it may be. Yeah. So just looking in, at it in more detail, impulsive series of large bodied candles, little to no wick, um, preferably one direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and shows momentum to the upside. Momentum is so important. Remember, we're trading with the trend. We like to spot where momentum is and we want to ride it. Okay. So if it's yeah. dropping, we want to be in the sell or buy. Yeah. Sell okay. or buy, pick. Oh. If it's dropping, we want to sell or do we want to buy? We want to sell it? Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we do. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think I went over that. I'm just taking this oh. I assume we want yeah. to sell it if it's going down. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Because when, we, when we're selling, we're anticipating market to move down, right? Yes. When we're buying, we're anticipating market to go up. Exactly. Yeah. Bullish impulsive price action is a series of these bullish candles, which means strong momentum to the upside. Yeah. There's lots of buyers in the market. Bearish impulsive candles just is just the opposite. Yeah. Lo loads of sellers, um, strong momentum to the downside. Yeah. Oh, so I've got examples for you. Cool. So this is, what is this? Oh, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Bearish impulsive move. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. And this is why I say it's a series of like this downtrend here. Yeah, yeah we had visual. this very small bullish candle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Would so that throw you off? Throw me off in what? Because like, I think the, the key thing to, to realize is if we're looking at, if we take a step back, instead of looking at it at the hour. Yeah and like nitpicking, oh, this is, this is no longer bearish. Yeah. Is the fact that you had this really ugly, ugly piece here. Yeah. And then within one, two, three hours, it's just poof. Mm -hmm. But this is probably like what, a day and a half it took to do yeah. this. So that's why I still re uh, regard this as a bearish impulsive move. Yeah. Um, same thing here. In within These one, two, three. What's this? Are those ones bearish? No? <laughs> I'm getting confused now. Oh no, they're, they're, the... no they're, bullish. Yeah, they're bullish. Yeah, they're bullish. Because he's going up. Yeah, he's going up. He's Sorry. Going up. Yeah. yeah, so like within three hours, he just they decided to, to go to the moon. Oh. Whereas here, what's this yeah. kind of price action? This one is correct. Yeah, yeah they're correcting right now. Because yeah. they're kind of moving sideways, this and that. Yeah, it's a bit unstable. And like you said, it's like unstable, it. meaning it's also unsustainable for price to yeah. constantly be in this state. Right. So at some point it will either go up or down. It will either go up and down, Impulsive. always. Oh, so again, okay. main price action is literally impulse correction, impulse move corrective. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> corrective price action. Series of small bodied candlesticks, mixture of bullish bearish, bit all, bit all over the place. Mm -hmm. Shows a lack of momentum. We need to like get this word momentum like underlined because that is like really important. Okay. Um, shows a lack of momentum, like you said, unstable. It's not going to go up. It's not going mm. down. We kind of don't know what's going on. Direction mm. of the market is unknown. Um, people still trade during these periods of price action. Feels unsafe. But it, exactly <laughs> right. It feels very unsafe. With how we're trading, we just don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bear in mind, we're looking at it on the one hour, so we're kind of like we could be in and out of a trade, losing, winning, losing, winning. It's a bit yeah. crazy. Um, but there are people who trade it, right. especially on other time frames. Okay. Um, I think something- Is it sustainable? 
Yeah, because they would. I'd hope that people who trade that way research. are doing it because they find it profitable. Yeah. And I think that's the key thing in Forex is that when you have a strategy, you just have to respect when someone Other does it. Other people doing it. It just works for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we can't really be shoving down our strategy and be like, this is the only yeah. way. Yeah. Um, if it works for them, isn't it? Yeah. Like okay. Okay. With our strategy, we don't want to be involved in price action like this because we're trend traders. We trade with the trend. When there's no trend, why are we trading? Mm. Yeah. We just sit on our hands. Yeah. Oh my God, you're learning. <laughs> it's fun. Um, quick summary on sort of like what you've learned so far. Okay, so candlesticks happen every hour. Yes, because well, we're looking yes, at the happen. one hour time frame. Yes, and you can have bullish and bearish candlesticks. So bearish means it's dropping mm -hmm. and bearish means it's going up. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I said, I said the same thing. Wait, wait, let me try again. <laughs> Bearish means it's going down. Bullish means it's going up. Yep. Um, you have wicks on those candlesticks, which is where the is it? It's currency, right? Can I yeah. say currency? Yeah. yeah. Or like the price. When the price, yeah, that's fair to say. When the price um, has hit further than like the actual body, mm -hmm. or lower than mm -hmm. the actual body. Um, what else is there? So that it's kind of like it's the max and the minimum price it was in yes. that time frame. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, impulsive and corrective. Um, impulsive price action is um, when the candlesticks are a bit more uh, consistent. I guess they're longer. Yeah. What, what's longer then? The, the body. Wicks. Yes. The body is longer. Ideally, shorter width. Mm -hmm. but you're looking more at the body yeah um and corrective is the unstable ones with a shorter body mm -hmm. um does it matter about the wicks for that yeah sometimes you'll see like they're if really it's wicky. a really long wick i yeah. assume that's not very good yeah because what does it mean when there's like really long wicks and there's like a short body what happened within that hour to price it it went really high and really low so yeah. it's, it's quite quick yeah it was quite quick in the hour but it yeah never, it never Feels stabilized it. itself. Yeah. It, it was, yeah, exactly. Oh my yeah. God, that's such a good word. It never stabilized yeah. itself. Like within the hour, it was like, wait, I'm gonna go up here. Then yeah, it was just here, like having a bit of fun. Having a like, actually, yeah. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just gonna end like here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, that's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, there's something that I want you to keep in mind. Okay. Because I know I'm teaching you the one hour time frame, but I just want you to also be aware, and anyone who's watching, that you can change the time frames. So like I said, one candle meant one hour. But if I change to the four hour, it will condense. Okay. And now one candle is four hours. Yeah. So from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. will just be one candle. Um, okay, will that change the difference of like the wicks? Oh, that, that's a good Insta. question. Cause that's basically what I wanted to talk about how within corrections, this is the same time frame within yeah. a corrective period like we're gonna look now yeah when it's you'll see there are still impulses in that right but if we take a step back and look at it as a whole it's corrective yeah because we're comparing it to let's say a larger, a larger one yeah yeah so would you agree like what would you say oh. what would you say is this sort of price action overall if i said this entire thing the entire thing yeah Corrective or impulsive? Corrective. Yeah. Because it's still like it's still kinda, it's still zigzagging a lot. Yeah. <laughs> if we did this, this section here. Yeah. Corrective or impulsive? Oh. What's your thought process I'd right now? Literally from here to this section. I I would say it's still corrective. Why do you think that? But. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I okay. can't. What if we I then can't... compared it to this? Now will that help you answer your question? You're correct, by the way. Mm -hmm. What the hell? You're correct, by the I, way. I like... don't know why, but it just feels right. I, I know that sounds stupid, but what would you say this one is? That one is impulsive. Yeah. Because it's it's going down. Mm -hmm. Down pretty quick. Pretty quick large bodies yeah, yeah very very large whereas these ones are super short like by it's still by the hour isn't it mm -hmm. by the hour 
Because bear in mind, and from the 19th of November to the 25th, yeah, in six days, it didn't really move as much no. compared to what, in to three hours, three, there. four, five, whatever hours. Yeah. So this is definitely corrective, this this, yeah. this piece of, that piece of price, there. and this is definitely impulsive. Yeah. Um, oh, just going back to what I was showing you, is that, yes, overall, this area is corrective. I also wanted to explain how within a corrective period, you'll see and it moves down, oh. moves down, and moves down, right? Yeah. So kind of like within a corrective piece, you can still see moves down, moves down, or moves up, okay. moves up, moves sideways, right? Moves up, moves down. Yeah. Correctively moves up, pushes down. Do you see that? Yeah. But I think overall we need to look at price, step back, and yeah. see this is corrective. I don't want to be involved in this. Yeah. Um, cool. Does it, does it kind of making sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. Analyze literally this piece of price here because this is great. Like all of it? Just from like where these lines are going. Okay. Like all the way up here. Okay. This section here, mm -hmm. it's going up. Mm -hmm. So it's, so they're bullish candlesticks and they are impulsive. Yeah because they're all going up, it's not going super mm -hmm. zigzaggy everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. I would say that this all together is corrective um, because it's still like unstable in the way that mm -hmm. there's lots of zigzaggies everywhere, but then you can see impulsive Behavior. price action, yeah. price action. right? Like here, mm -hmm. perfect. And that is going down, so it's those are bearish candles. Yes. Yeah. This one too. Did you say guys, this one? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that that's impulsive. But it's shorter than the other ones. Oh, this one. Yeah, that one's definitely impulsive. And like, that what one. did I say about? You said the word unstable, right? Yeah. Because, so it's only a matter of time it starts to become corrective again. Yeah. Until it only a matter of time. Yeah. Impulsive. It goes. And it's only a matter of time it's corrective. So yeah. there's literally that pattern. So yeah. This is quite nice. It's it's very clean. It's very clean, yeah. And this say. is what I like about price action trading is that it's just really clean. Yeah. You don't start getting these indicators involved which start to like clog up your charts. Yeah. Um so yeah, that was pretty much it for part one. Do you have any like last like final thoughts or questions? Something that you don't like really understand. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing Everything's yet. making sense so far. Everything's made sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. In the next episode, we're going to be going over market structure and patterns and things like that. Cool. And yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and hopefully you guys took value from that. Um, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to comment um, if you learn anything and give the video a like. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. So it's like a little curriculum sort of thing. Oh, one, one second. Delivery. Oh, it's giant. What did you get? I don't know. One second. Does <laughs> your brain hurt? I'm back at school. Yeah, a little bit, but like in a good way. <laughs>